Gen 7 allows for fast and simple adjustments to the information your scoreboard displays. In this video, we will cover the various scoreboard settings available in the Gen 7 software. To access the scoreboard settings, navigate to the settings screen and then click the scoreboard tab. Most of these settings should be left at the default values when transmitting data to an LED video board. Split display mode is where you can select whether to show cumulative splits, subtractive splits, or a combination of both. If both are selected, the mode listed first will display first, followed by the mode listed second. The split display time allows you to set the amount of time you would like the split times to be visible on the scoreboard. When both modes are selected, you can set how long you would like each mode to be visible on the scoreboard. The Lane Modules Used Adjustment allows you to set how many modules on the scoreboard you would like to utilize. If the number of modules is set to a number less than the number of lanes in the pool, for example, four modules in an eight-lane pool, the scoreboard will show the data in phases beginning with lanes one through four, followed by lanes five through eight. The duration that each phase of data will be displayed can be set using the Phasing Speed Adjustment. For pools with more than nine lanes, two-digit lane and place display allow you to set how you would like the lanes above nine to be displayed. For scoreboards that only have one digit for lane and one digit for place, you can select if lanes above nine are displayed as single-digit numeric or as letters. On scoreboards capable of displaying both digits such as 10 digit per line boards or video boards, set the two digit lane and place display setting to ABC to display both digits of lanes above 9. When clear lanes on next race is selected, places and times will automatically clear from the scoreboard when the event or heat are changed while the timer is in the reset state ready for the next race. When Show Start Reaction is enabled, start reaction times for both RJP and backstroke takeoffs with touchpads will be displayed for each lane at the start of the race. Even if this option is turned off, start reaction times can still be recorded by the Gen 7. The Post Places option selects whether places are posted at each split or only at the final time. The record breaker action allows you to set the scoreboard to blink the time when a record is broken. You can adjust the length count direction to set the direction either up or down. You want the length counter on the scoreboard to count. If enabled, Wireless settings are where you can set the channel and pan on your Gen 7 timer to match the channel and pan set on your wireless scoreboard or scoreboard adapter. To test the wireless signal strength between your timer and wireless capable scoreboard, turn on the wireless scoreboard RSSI. When enabled, the scoreboard enters a special test mode displaying the signal strength of the incoming wireless signal on the scoreboard. The higher the number, the poorer the signal. Time of day is where you can set the options for the time of day that is displayed on your scoreboard. You can select between 12 and 24 hour formats and set whether to display only hours and minutes or include seconds. Time of day is automatically synced when the Gen 7 software starts up. Click Sync Timer to Current Time of Day to set the time displayed on the scoreboard to the current time. You can test scoreboard digit functionality by enabling the scoreboard self-test. When enabled, the scoreboard displays a pattern design to test each numeric digit. We will cover single line settings and scoreboard definitions in upcoming videos. For more information about the Gen 7 system, check out our other videos or see our website for more details.